Welcome to the Recency Belief Podcast with Samuel White III. My name is Danae Mary Louise White and I am the third oldest daughter of Samuel White III. We are glad that you have joined us today as Daniel White III equips Christians to stand firm in their faith and offers unbelievers a recency belief. Welcome to the Reasons to Believe broadcast slash podcast. This is broad. Cast number nine. We took off a week last week, but we're back now and we're glad to be back. God has been under attack in the world almost since the beginning of time, but He and those who believe in Him are under attack more now than ever before. We do not understand why, uh, because God is love. Atheism is increasing and atheists are becoming more vocal in their beliefs. This podcast is designed to equip Christians and others to do what the Holy Scriptures command, and that is to earnestly contend for the faith and to be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh us a reason of the hope that is in us. Our quote for today is from C.S. Lewis. He said, My argument against God was that the universe seemed so cruel and unjust. But how had I got this idea of just and unjust? A man does not call a line crooked unless he has some idea of a straight line. What was I comparing this universe with when I called it unjust? If the whole show was bad and senseless from A to Z, so to speak, why did I, who was supposed to be part of the show, find myself in such a violent reaction against it? Of course, I could have given up my idea of justice by saying it was nothing but a private idea of my own. But if I did that, then my argument against God collapsed too, for the argument depended on saying the world was really unjust, not simply that it did not happen to please my fancies. Thus, in the very act of trying to prove that God did not exist, in other words, uh, that the whole of reality was senseless, I found I was forced to assume that one part of reality, namely my idea of justice, was full of sense. If the whole universe has no meaning, we should never have found out that it has no meaning just as if there were no light in the universe and therefore no creatures with eyes, we should never have known it was dark. Dark would be without meaning. Our scripture reading for today, ladies and gentlemen, is 1 Peter 3.15. It reads, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer. To every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Our reason to believe principle or PowerPoint for today is titled Questions About Arguments Part 3 from the Handbook of Christian Apologetics by Peter Kreeft and Ronald K. Chasili. They go on to say we need to distinguish three related questions about arguments, since understanding what these questions involve will help you to understand other topics in this broadcast. We dealt with the first and second questions in the previous two broadcasts, podcasts. We will deal with the third and final question today. Is empirical demonstration the only kind possible? Or is there another kind? 
there must be another kind, for there can't be an empirical demonstration that the only kind of demonstration is empirical. Philosophy claims to have proofs, proofs giving us certain knowledge that are not empirical or experimental. In fact, what counts today as the scientific method doesn't even claim to deliver what we mean by certain knowledge. What about the arguments we will discuss from this book? There are many probable arguments, arguments from converging clues. We can only hope our readers will find, uh, find them as reasonable and persuasive as we do. There are other arguments whose conclusions we claim are known with certainty. This certainty may not produce in you immediate feelings of certitude, but this by itself says more about you than about these arguments. It does not show that they fail to demonstrate their conclusions, thought it might spur you on to demonstrate that failure. At the very least, you need to ponder these arguments and your reaction to them with great care. Finally, it goes without saying that our demonstrative proofs are not empirical or experimental. They proceed by methods proper to philosophy. To those who prefer the methods of natural science, we say, then be scientific. Read the proofs, look at them carefully, and see whether they work. Holy Father, God, give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and insight. Lord, help us to believe in you. Help us to walk by faith and not by sight. Give the people understanding. Rebuke and bind the devil and his demons and his host from them and help them to grow in the faith. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Dear friend, if you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today, May I lovingly encourage you to get to know him today. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead by the power of God for you so that you can live forever with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today, and he will. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, make sure you keep in mind these reasons to believe. God bless you.